Hi, my name is Leah Day, and this is a free motion quilting project sewing machine review. The machine I'm reviewing is the Janome HD 1000. This machine retails for about $299. I bought mine on eBay a couple months ago, and I really like this machine. It feels very sturdy, it produces very nice stitches, and it's been very easy to take care of. The nice thing that I really enjoy about it is it uses this is the same bobbins as my other machine, the Janome Horizon, which means that the two bobbins are really interchangeable, so I can have many wound on one machine and then simply bring them over here if I'm needing to have two projects going at once. I find that very convenient. So personally, I would advise this machine, if you already have the Janome Horizon and you're looking for a workshop machine, something that's lightweight that you can take with you and pack up easily. I really think this is a good machine for that. The one thing you're going to need if you want a free motion with it is a spool winder like this. It's not a spool winder, it's a spool stand like this. Uh, it holds spools, this is a very large spool, um, but if you're going to be using spool thread or just big cones of thread, you want to get something like this because it's, it just won't work on these spool pins on the machine. Uh, you're also going to need a free motion quilting foot, and I have another uh, video on that, helping you select and then modify a foot that will fit the machine particularly. And once you've set that up, pretty much that's it. The machine does very, very well at free motion. The one thing to keep in mind if you are used to using a higher powered machine is that the motor on this machine is much smaller and therefore it does not go as fast. So you're going to need to compensate by slowing down the movement of your hands. Now, if you've never stitched on a higher powered machine, then there's really no worry. Um, you pretty much can get started, and the more you practice on it, the better you're going to get. But I did produce some very beautiful stitches on this machine, and it simply took practice. You just have to adjust to the speed and the control that you have. Now, you don't have many features on this machine that you do on more expensive machines, such as you don't have a knee lifter, and you don't have an automatic needle up, needle down. I want to show you how you compensate for these things in this video. I'm going to show you how I stitch this small baby quilt. And of course it is black fabric. On the back I did some a funky print. But I really like to have black fabric with white thread so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, kind of a nice thing that I also did along with this project is I stitched a very, very simple version of a large scale stippling. If you're wanting to learn stippling, if you are really wanting to make some big fills go all over a bed quilt, this is a great video for showing you how that works over your quilt in quadrant style quilting. So let's get started learning how free motion quilting works on the Janome HD 1000. The first step is to use the hand wheel and drop your needle down into the quilt and then hang on to that top thread pull on it a little bit and that'll bring your bobbin thread up to the top then you can hook the two threads underneath your foot before you get started and I always find that it really helps to have my needle in the down position as I start and right now I'm kind of curling up the quilt under my arm so that way it all sets flat. Now I'm going to swing out and down creating this large U shape and you can see that this is really big this is about three inches long and there's about a one and a quarter inches between the lines of stitching when it creates that U. So I'm making sure that it's very big. Now when you want to stop with this machine, you're going to need to put your hand down and then take the other hand off the quilt and use that hand to rotate the hand wheel and bring your needle into the down position. And you kind of have to just get into the a pattern with it into a rhythm with it of always remembering to do that because your needle will not automatically do that for you with this machine. Another nice thing is the foot pedal uh, is sensitive enough that you actually can take the foot pedal and just tap on it and that will, uh, if you're careful, will bring the needle down into the down position too. It's not automatic. It's not like if you tap it once it'll automatically go down. It's not like that. It's just something that if you're really sensitive to the foot pedal, you can control the machine fine-tuned uh, fine enough that you can do it that way too. So here you can see I've 
I of course had to speed up this video in order to show you as much as I want to show you. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm breaking up this little quilt, and it's a one yard quilt, it's one yard of black fabric, basted up with other batting and uh, backing fabric. And I'm just taking this wiggly line of very basic stippling from the center to the edges, and then back from the edges into the center. And so all of that is one continuous line. I broke thread one time while I was doing this. And what this is called is this is called breaking your quilt up into quadrants. It's how I do all over style quilting. If you're wanting to cover your quilt with one stitch, one design, then this is the way I do it because I find it very much easier to work and knock out that center section and get uh, the quilt broken down into four equal pieces. And here's what it looks like whenever you break your quilt up that way. So you've seen what the starting lines look like whenever you break a quilt up into quadrants. So now let's actually fill a quadrant with this wiggly, simple stipple. Now, of course, I know that this does not look like traditional stippling, but this is the way I learned stippling. I learned stippling because I just stitched these U shapes and I kept stitching them in rows until I got brave enough to start adding a bend to it, adding a, a curve to it, um, making two little loops and then one big loop. Making those variations that then create that more typical meandering design. I think this is a very good place to get started if this is what you are wanting to do. Um, as you can see, I'm stitching the quadrant, basically stitching from left to right. You kind of want to play with it. Um, stitch your quilt, and as you're quilting, pay attention to how the direction feels to you. If it doesn't feel natural, stop and rotate the quilt into a direction that feels more natural to you. Um, once I get to the edge of the quilt, I quilt back into the center. And then I'll quilt straight down and create another row. Uh, it's really just a simple matter of trying to stitch the quadrant in the most logical fashion. And of course, once you knock out uh, the starting lines, the really breaking your quilt down into the quadrants, there's really not that much stitching left uh, on a particularly small quilt like this. Even a bigger quilt, even a full size or queen size quilt, once you get that center section finished, you'll be amazed by how much faster it is to finish quilting it uh, when you only have four more sections to go. Getting back to the machine, I definitely would uh, recommend this Janome HD 1000. Having stitched on it for a few months, having made a few quilts on it, and having stitched out this sample, I definitely think that this is a good machine for beginning free motion quilters. Uh, I am very comfortable with sewing machines and I do have a lot of control over my stitches but I think it has a nice stitch quality and with a good free motion quilting foot I think that you will be very well set up to quilt your own quilts in free motion. And here's what it looks like uh, when I finish this very large scale stippling. So I hope that this video has helped you see just what you can get for a $300 sewing machine and how to cover a quilt with a very simple design. So until next time, let's go quilt. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and find many more videos on free motion quilting and sewing machines at the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's freemotionproject.com.